Hi, everybody. It's Sandra. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you being here. So if you've never seen any of my videos before, I've been collecting jewelry for a long time. I collect other things too, and I sell a lot of jewelry on my eBay page and other things too. Sometimes I go to auctions and I get some of my jewelry there, usually from large box lots. Sometimes I sell items at auctions also, but most of the things we're going to be taking a look at today, I actually got at yard sale estate sales or thrift stores. So today is kind of exciting because I bought this key gold tester. Now what I usually do is I test items with nitric acids. I have the gold testing kit. Some of you may have seen me test uh, gold and jewelry before. So this is just kind of a no muss, no fuss kind of item. There's no liquids involved. It's nice and clean and it is supposedly accurate. I actually just got this about two hours ago. I was fooling around with it just a tiny tiny bit but for the most part I really don't know what's going to happen with some of these items that I wanted to test out so I am certainly glad that you're here let me know below what your favorite pieces are and I guess that's about it subscribe to the channel if you want and we will get started thanks again for coming everybody It comes with this wand, and this is what we're going to use for our jewelry. Apparently, there's some sort of a computerized something, something in here. I don't know. And there's also like a salt solution. So you need to keep this cap on when you're not using it. I don't really understand how it works, even though I read about it. But anyway, that's kind of the gist. So the first thing we'll do is hook this up. So this part goes into the red part. Let me just take these caps off. So I guess I'll put this one here. I'll put this one in the pen and I'll take this off. Okay, that's what this looks like. Hopefully that's focusing properly. I don't know. Let me try to get the cord out of the way. So it says the first thing you have to do is calibrate it. So we'll turn it on. You can see here the readings. The red means uh, NG. No good. That's going to mean it's not real at all. The yellow is 10 karat. The green is 14 karat, the white is 18 karat, and then the blue is 22 to 24 karat. I do have one 22 karat ring that I'm curious to see how that will read out on this. And then the P is for platinum. I think I might have a piece of platinum to try that out on. Um, I'm not sure. We'll have to see as we go. So the very first thing we need to do is calibrate this. So what we're going to do is I do have a known piece of 18 karat gold. How about that? What do you think about this ring? That's pretty sick, right? An acquaintance of mine uh, gave me a bunch of jewelry that belonged to her mother. Her mother passed away. She gave me a whole bag of jewelry. She said, I hope there's something good in there. I really, really want you to have this bag of jewelry. And there was nothing good in there except for this. And this is just a big old wow. Check that out. Beautiful, right? So this is uh, clearly marked 18 karats. So this is going to be our piece that we use to set it, set it up here. So you have to put it down on that metal piece and then press the wand very, very lightly, it says. Okay, so we need to fix that. So that should be in the white, not in the blue. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we are good to go. So let's start out with this bracelet. I got this at a yard sale years and years ago. This has some beautiful weight to it. I was keeping it, you know, just just to uh, just to sell it someday. And there there are some flaws with it, and I can't find them right now. But there are a couple of flaws, and I don't feel comfortable selling this on eBay. So this one I'm actually going to be selling in an auction because I want whoever buys this to you know be able to really take a good look at it for themselves this is marked 14 karat gold so let's see what what we see here there you go right into the 14 karat gold amazing so this one i'm gonna send off to a live auction i mean i'll be there too but so here's a little pair of earrings. Um, well, I mean, I have the pair of earrings. It's just one earring, obviously. <laughs> um, 
I think we may have tested this one before. I think that's a little diamond chip in there. Hmm, I don't remember, but let's see. I think these might be 14 karat, not sure. I have to make sure this has good contact with this metal. It's This one's kind of hard to do, isn't it? Yeah, 14 karat like I thought. Very good. That's just the post part. Let me see if I can do this other part somehow. There is another piece that comes with this in case something is too too tough to do. It's like an alligator clip thing. Okay, I don't need to. 14 karat gold. Okay, the post and the earring is 14 karat gold. Here's the other one right here. So these are not marked. And um, I may test these like additionally with the acid too, just to be sure because it's unmarked, you know, just in case because I may sell them and, you know, you have to really, really be sure when you're selling stuff. I thought these looked pretty real. So let's test these out. I think this was either a yard sale or a thrift store, something like that. Just make sure there's good contact. Uh oh, I think that's trying to go into that red, isn't it? Let me do it again. Yep. Okay. These are not real. All right. Good to know. Boy, what a time saver this is, right? Pretty cool. Here is a piece that is absolutely positively costume jewelry. You can see that from a mile away. This is not real. So let's just watch this go into the red as it should. There it is. Yep. Pretty cool. Now, gold filled pieces are also supposed to go into the red, believe it or not. This thing can tell the difference between gold filled and solid. So that's pretty cool too. I got this little froggy thing somewhere. This does look like 14 karat uh, diamond cut gold to me, but not sure, not marked. Okay, not real. No big heartbreak there. That's just a little thing, right? I'm very curious about this thing. So for those of you who are following along at home, I bought out a bunch of jewelry from somebody who used to own a jewelry store. And I think that's where this is from. There was a little um, kind of baggy and it said findings on it. And that's where I pulled this out of the other day. I was going through finds it, findings. And I was like, hey, that that's not real gold, is it? I mean, here's hoping, right? This is a beautiful little piece. Nope, right into the red. Okay, so let's give this one a little go. This is unmarked, but this one looks gold to me. Let's find out. Ooh, 18. That's cool. 18. Awesome. Wow, that's so great. How about this Star of David? Maybe. This one looks very real. Nope, it isn't. Okay, wow, they really faked that well. That's really a nice piece. Okay, not real. I'm making sure, of course, that I'm separating everything out here as I go so I don't have to test twice. <laughs> Here's a nice little pendant. I believe this one is 14. I think that's a garnet and I think that's a diamond too. Let's see. 14. Now the instructions are really clear about not pressing this tip too too hard or else it will it will um get frayed and then it won't read correctly. This is another one that's unmarked. Oops, this is a little Masonic hat badge thing. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get proper contact on this. Let's see. This one looks real though. Hmm. I can't really get that on the. So, um, yeah, this one's kind of strange. So we'll keep this to the side and we'll use our, all our alligator clip on this one, too. Oh, I know what I wanted to check out for sure. This thing. I have such wonderful viewers. I have such smart viewers, too. I think this was that jewelry store haul. This is all in Russian. This is lovely, lovely amber. And a couple of people wrote to me and said, 
um, we can read Russian, that is 18 carat right there. I don't know what here is saying that it's 18 carat. So people are wonderful and helpful and lovely. We knew that. So let's uh, just test them out. I'm, I have no reason to doubt my, my peeps. I'm sure that's true, but let's just see it go here. Eighteen carat. That's wonderful. These are beautiful, beautiful cufflinks. Look how big they are too. Yeah, they're marked with something additionally there, which yeah, I can't understand. It's just not in, just not in English. That's all. So thank you to the two people who told me these are eighteen carat gold. Fabulous. That's great. This necklace was a yard sale find from a long, long time ago, many years ago, pre-eBay for sure. And this one is a little bit confusing because part of, of this finding says 10 carat and then the other part says 14 carat. I mean, I don't care really what the finding says. I really care about what this chain is because this one is heavy as heck. So here's hoping this is 14 K. I hope that has enough Let's try to get a little bit more on there. I don't know if that matters, but here, I'll put a bunch of it on there before we touch it with our probe. That's interesting. It's like right between 10 and 14. But um, yeah, chains might be a little bit different. So we'll check this out with our alligator clip. So I'll save that one to the end. We'll do a little further research into that one. Look at these lovely earrings. I think these are either 14 or 18. I did just get these recently. I think those are real pearls. I think those are real little diamond chips. This was a dollar or something or dollar fifty or two dollars, something like that in a thrift store. Let's see what we see here. 14. Yeah, wonderful. I think these might be marked too, but when I am selling things, you know, I always make sure they're marked and then I test them additionally just in case, you know, um, as they say, those stamps are cheap. These are a yard sale find from last summer. I tested these before. I know these are 14, but let's just make sure this is working. 14. Yeah. I could do this all day. <laughs> it makes me want to like test every single piece of gold I have. And I actually don't have that much gold. So robbers take note. I don't have much gold. I really don't. And what I do have, I am working on selling. Okay. I got to make sure I put that in the right pile. So this is some sort of a little religious thing. Isn't that nice? Is that the nativity? Uh, I can't tell. Um, it's kind of hard to see. No, it might be Lady Fatima. Is that how you say it? Or is it Fatima? Not sure. Um, but this says C18 on the back. You probably can't see that, but let's see if this is real gold. I don't know what C18 is. Maybe it means 18 karat gold. I don't know. Uh, apparently it does. <laughs> okay. I wonder what, what country that is. I wonder why that says C18. How strange. I've never seen anything like that. But um, yeah, that's good. That's a lovely little thing, right? Look at these cute little hoops. Not marked. These were a recent find. 14 karat. Fabulous. What sweet little earrings these are. I love these. So nice. This bracelet does not look that real to me, but um, you know, you never know. Sometimes I, I'm wrong for sure. So let's just check this right into the red. Yeah. Just sort of too shiny. Just doesn't look right. Doesn't feel right to me. So that one is costume jewelry or gold filled one of the one or the other. So just for fun, why don't we check out a few pieces from my collection and then we will do the two pieces that I said we're going to do with the um, clip. I think there was a third piece too, but I can't remember what it was. Look at this pretty old topaz ring. I love this setting. Isn't that nice? So I got this years and years ago. My mother and I went to a yard sale. There were two sisters and they were not young. And I was helping them set up. We were the first people there. And she brought out a bunch of jewelry. And I was sort of just taking a lot of really nice things. Everything costume except for this one. So I said to her, how about 
you know, telling me what you want for this, right? I never suggest it. Well, I rarely suggest it. So she goes, I have to go into the house and ask my sister. I'll be right back. So she came back and then she opens up her hand with all the jewelry and she said, $4 for all of this. And I didn't see this ring. And uh, I said, okay, but what happened to the ring? And she goes, this ring, this ring, this is real gold. I said, oh, she goes, so I have to have $4 <laughs> for this one alone. And uh, yeah, sometimes you just get lucky, right? This is so beautiful. I love it. Probably from the 20s. So this one, I think it's marked 10. I'm pretty sure there's like the remnants of what used to say 10, you know, 100 years ago or so. Hmm, that's testing us 14. That That's cool, but I do think it says 10. I hope something's not up with this 10 carat thing because we haven't found any yet. Let me um, Let me try something else that is marked 10. Hold on. I just double checked with my loop. I mean, it looks like this one says 10, but it's so old and it is very worn out. So maybe that one does say 14, not sure. But here's one that absolutely says 10. This one says 10 for sure. This is so lovely. So this is called a bypass bracelet. And that those are pearls and those are diamonds. So what I do on uh, little baggies that I try to keep all my gold and silver in is I only want to look at what it says once. So this is Mark 10K and it's 6.2 grams. I try to put the weight too, just so I don't have to do it over and over again uh, and, you know, for when I decide to sell this. So this should read 10 for sure. And it, huh, that's interesting. It's right on that line again. Um, I don't know. You think something's wrong with this? You would think that it would be like right in the middle of that. Let me see uh, if I have any other 10 karat gold. I'm not sure if I do. Hold on. Here's a beautiful little pin that I love. This is a nice old item. This is um, opal seed pearl, and this one is clearly marked 10 karat. A lot of times the mark is on the pin, and sometimes it's on this catch part. And in this case, it does say 10 karat right there. You probably can't see it. I don't think my lighting is great today. So let's see what we see. This should be 10. And it's still at the bottom end of the 14. That is strange. And I, I did just recalibrate, too. So um, let me see if I can find more 10 karat. Hold on. This is a thrift store find from a couple years ago. What a beautiful topaz. Look at all that lacy filigree stuff. Isn't that incredible? So this one is clearly marked on the catch right there. It does say 10K. This one better not test as 14, just saying. Let's see what we got. Oh, that is so weird. Now it makes me wonder if those other things I tested earlier, if some of those are right on the line, because then those are 10 instead of 14. I wonder if that's like a known issue with this. Not sure. But anyway, let's move on. This ring is 18 karat. And I always thought that was an emerald, but I think I just determined it isn't. But I don't remember now what it is. Adventuring or something? No, I don't know. I don't remember. Um, but let's see how this one tests. We should go right into the white. And it does. Isn't that a beautiful ring? Love that. So pretty. This little pendant is marked 18 karat, and those are sapphires. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get good enough contact on the gold here with all those sapphires, but let's try. Yeah, right into 18. Awesome. Let's try the bale two here. Yep, 18. Isn't that pretty? That's lovely. Let's test this sort of incredibly beautiful Art Deco ring. These are diamonds, those are emeralds, and this piece is my mother's, and she did not buy this at a yard sale. She got it in like an antique store or an antiques mall or something like that in the 1980s. 
I know she paid a bunch for it. I mean, I don't know what, but I believe this is platinum. I guess it's platinum. That's sort of weird. <laughs> it's just like showing on zero. Uh, yeah, I wonder if this just is so thin. We'll try this one with our alligator clip in a bit. Here's another one of my mother's rings that she got at an antique store in the 80s. Beautiful diamond. That, that center diamond's gorgeous. But there's some little chips around the side. Some emeralds. I believe this one is platinum also. I mean, I think that's what she thinks it is. Let's see. So this one is um, not platinum. It's between 14 and 18. It's so weird that it's right on the line. Um, and maybe we should recalibrate. Let's do that. Maybe make it so it's like really in the center. All right, let's try that. Maybe that helps. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so I always thought this was platinum, but I guess it's it's white gold. So let's see if we can get a more accurate carrot reading here. 14. Okay, that just needed to be calibrated. All right, so uh, that's a surprise to me. I thought this was platinum, but it is 14 karat gold. I found this watch at a thrift store probably about four or five years ago. So this is just a, another great example of how you have to be diligent when you look at things because things get separated. You probably can't see that, but it says 10 karat gold filled right there. And so I didn't want it. You know, if it's just gold filled, I don't want it. I do think it works though. Um, but you see that band right there? That band is 14 karat gold. It's marked right there. So the people at the thrift store saw that it said gold filled. They didn't know to check the band too. I did, <laughs> however. So this is just a beautiful piece and it's 14 karat. Let's prove it. Yeah, 14. That's really pretty. I do want to sell this, but I, I guess I'll have to take this band off for, well, I'm not exactly sure how to do this yet, but this is some very, very nice weight on here. That was a lucky find and, you know, just something to think about. Things very, very often get separated with jewelry. A lot of times you see it with necklaces and pendants, but you see it with other things as well, including watches. So there you go. Here's yet another lucky thrift store find from a few years back. This one is marked 14K plus PL. PL stands for platinum. But um, we won't be able to test it because I believe the platinum part is just the part that's holding that diamond. That's something you see sometimes. But isn't that just a lovely, lovely item? Probably from the 1920s. It's in beautiful condition. So let's just see it say 14 here. I hope. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Pretty. Now let's test a couple of things with our alligator clip. So let's try our Masonic thing here. Fourteen K. Okay, cool. That's awesome. And then, oh, this is the thing I'm really hoping this chain. We think this is 14. Oh boy. Oh man. I gotta be so careful. I don't want to make that damaged. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully it's 14. And it is. Oh, that's really great news. This is nice and heavy. I'll probably just throw this in the auction too. Um, yeah, it's a little bit weird the way that one thing says 10 and yeah, I don't know, kind of strange, but, um, yeah, this is good. That's going to be a nice little money maker too. And here's the ring we think is platinum, but it, it seems like it sh that the needle should have just moved a little bit, right? Well, you would think it would just do something. Let's see. Hmm. So the instructions say it will jump at first, like probably overshoot, and then it will settle where it actually goes. So it is moving. Um, I wonder if I could grab another part here where it's like, you know, more 
metal. And let's see what kind of rating we get now. It must just be platinum. It's just weird because you would think that it would be in the center there somehow. Oops, <laughs> I just touched the I touched the the clip part. That's why it just went into the nope area. Well, I think this is platinum and it's just a little bit odd. So what I can always do, of course, is double check with my acids, right? That's always an option. And, oh, I forgot, I do have one 22 karat gold ring. So let's just see what happens when I um, do that one. I cannot find that ring that's marked 22K. So we're going to have to do that at a later time. Sorry, I just had it too, and now I can't find it. Um, but we can test just a couple more things if you'd like. So this ring I love, isn't that beautiful? There used to be a, a woman who worked, she was quite older, uh, but she worked in a little local church thrift store. And I used to go in there and she would hold the gold for me sometimes. You know, she knew it was gold. So this one, you know, I walked in and she's like, oh, I have this ring for you, but it's real. So it's $18 or, you know, so, or $20, something like that. This is really lovely. I love this. It's like gigantic. I have huge, huge fingers. I mean, that's like, I have like football player hands uh, and this is even too big on me. But anyway, we'll just see it go into 14 here. I can see I'm just going to be playing with this for a long time now because it's just fun. Fun for me, probably boring for you guys, but super fun. Okay. Love that. And then Look at this ring. This ring is clearly antique. And I got this. Somebody owed me money. It was a guy when I used to live in New York City. I sang a jingle for him and he paid me and then he owed me a bunch more money. And then he's like, hey, can I just like give you this ring? Because he was somehow in the antiques business and he didn't know I collected jewelry or anything. So I said, I don't know. Let me see the ring, you know, and then uh, he brought this and I said, yeah, I think he owed me two hundred dollars or one hundred and seventy five dollars or something like that. This was in the 90s. So this one's really beautiful. Yeah, 14. This is so um, big. It has a lot of nice weight to it. And I just love it. It doesn't fit me. It used to fit me. It doesn't fit me anymore. Um, but I don't know. I, I kind of want to keep it just because I think it's old and it's really super pretty. Do you like that one? I really do. One of the nicest things about this unit, they say, is that when something is gold filled, it will go right into the red. It can detect the difference between gold and gold filled. So let's prove that here with this ring, which is gold filled. Mm hmm. I think it's gold filled. Hold on. Let me look. This is definitely positively 100% gold filled. It says it and somebody scratched the heck out of it back there. So, um, yeah, I don't know. This is not making me happy. The gold filled thing and the 10 carat thing. Hmm. Well, if anybody out there has more experience than me, I mean, it's certainly possible that it's user error because I've never used it before. Let me just try to recalibrate with our gorgeous cocktail ring here. Yeah, that's it's calibrated properly. That is so weird. Why in the world would it be doing that? Maybe because there's not enough. Well, there's a lot of contact now. Hmm. I guess I'll just have to read up on it a little bit further. But this was certainly very, very helpful with a lot of things that we did test. And we found out that a lot of the stuff that I've been getting is real and some stuff is not real. Now, the stuff that is real, I will definitely double check the things that are unmarked with my assets just to make sure. And then I'll try to figure out what's going on with the gold filled stuff. Not exactly sure. Anyhow, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me the thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. All right. Cheers, everybody. I hope to see you soon. Take care.